Hey guys, we're taking a look today at the 2021 Dodge Durango RT Tow and Go. So in this review today, I wanna first cover driving dynamics, what everybody wants to watch on a video like this, and then we will cover some of the interior pieces as well. But let's uh, take this out on a drive here and then get it warmed up, and then we'll show you some of the performance features of the truck. As we let this Durango RT tow and go warm up here, um, some base items I want to cover here. So this RT tow and go, if you're not familiar with it, this package on the RT, the tow and go package, essentially gives you all the SRT goodies that the SRT 392 has without the added cost or the 6.4 liter Hemi V8. So you get the upgraded Brembos. These do have the largest Brembos fitted to a North American car on the market. And it comes with the uh, eight speed, eight HP 80 transmission from ZF. This is one of the fastest shifting automatic transmissions on the market within I believe 10 milliseconds of the Nissan GTR. So add that to the list of value on this. Um, upgraded interior, demonic red seats on this, SRT exhaust, larger wheels, they are 20 by 10s, and the Bilstein adaptive dampening suspension, which I do have to say, this is one of the most active dampening systems that I have ever drove in. The difference between normal mode, sport, and track mode is quite amazing, if I do say so myself. It soaks up these icky, dirty, bumpy Wisconsin roads uh, better than any other vehicle that I have been in, I do have to say. So one thing that is nice about the Durango is that this exhaust is like this in every mode. So whether you're in standard mode, track mode, sport mode, the exhaust stays the same. Um, that is just fantastic. This is a powered, of course, by the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, 365 horsepower, 390 uh, pound-feet torque. And I do have to say, the zero to 60 on this, I have seen reports of five and a half seconds. So very fast for a large three-row SUV. Um, it's quite magnificent, really, and you don't have to spend the money for the SRT. But uh, one thing you will notice on the road, this is the coolest three-row crossover truck that you can buy on the market today for a very affordable price. One other thing I wanna to touch on here are the performance pages, of course, that you get with this SRT package the tow and go package. It's pretty cool, it gives you a dyno, gives you your engine stats, your uh, vehicle dynamics here. We'll take a left up here quick. Just let the car warm up a little bit more. Of course, you can go to your gauges and you can see your coolant temp, oil temp, oil pressure, trans temp, and battery. So we're gonna let these temperatures warm up a little bit here and then we'll show you what this beast can really do. So we've shifted into the sport mode here, and you can tell this road is really crappy, really bumpy. In sport mode, this isn't overly harsh, which makes it fun to drive. Um, you know, you basically have three different settings of the, of the dampers. And in sport mode, it's not overly bad. It's not overly harsh, which makes driving on these uh, bumpy roads pretty enjoyable. So these Brembos, of course, really stop it. Um, here we go. That's why you buy one of these machines. God dang it, this is a fun truck to drive. My goodness, you cannot get that sound in any other vehicle on the road today. And that is why you buy a Hemi V8. Oh, oh. That is why you buy any V8. Give me a Lexus V8, give me a GM V8. It don't matter anything with a naturally aspirated V8.
God, this thing is just fun to drive. This is, this is the ultimate machine on the road. Look at this. And you know what the best part about this truck is? It's not too fast to where you're gonna get a ticket all the time. It gives you that power, it gives you that takeoff that you want in a big powerful SUV, but you're not gonna be going over 60, 80, 100 miles an hour very, very much to where you're gonna get yourself in trouble. That's the best part about this vehicle. So we're gonna put it into track mode here. Track mode sends 95% of the available torque into the rear wheels. So track mode helps you get out of corners so well, along with the available uh, pedals, God, the shifts on this are so crisp. <laughs> ah, it's just too fun to drive. Now in track mode, you can hear that the suspension really, really stiffens up, but still makes it bearable to drive. Again, we've got a corner here and we are going to just belt right out of that damn corner. My goodness. Whew. I'm going to be honest with you too. In track mode, this holds gears well enough that it knows you're going around corners and it knows you're trying to have fun with the vehicle just with the mapping and the calibration of the computer. It really is truly an awesome car to drive. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I'm having too much fun with this. I am having too much fun. You can find one of these on the market today used with decent mileage for $40,000. Tell me why you wouldn't want to do that. Again, we'll slow down. Oh, goodness gracious. The driving dynamics of this vehicle for being such a large vehicle are so fun. Of course, here we go. We're going to do just a quick little stop from get up. God, look at that. <laughs> ah, this is too much fun. Too much fun. Buy one of these now if you get the chance. Oh my goodness, this car does it all. You can daily drive this. You can fit a family of six people in here. Four kids, you can fit four kids. And if you're a driving enthusiast, <laughs> you can drive this on the weekends for fun. And you could tow up to 8,700 pounds. So this truck literally does it all. And that is why it is truly so much fun. We'll do one more pull here. <laughs> oh man, I forgot to take it out of manual mode. That brings me to another point. So probably not the best for the engine. But this truck is so sweet that you can leave it in the gear you're in and it will go to red line as it just did right there. So pretty cool added ambiance to the truck. And here we have this venerable 5.7 liter Hemi V8, which requires only regular octane gas, which should be noted. You have... Um, heat extractors both functional as you can see through them which is really nice and a nice little air intake right there to uh, help cool the engine also to note and i do want to make this this uh uh you know known is that this 5.7 liter hemi v8 is the only thing that is different than this whole setup in the 6.4 liter version of the SRT392. This has trans cooling. This has oil cooling. This is technically a track ready machine. It has 
all the same performance features on it as the 392 does, but the only thing different, of course, is the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. So if you really wanna take this on the track, you can certainly do that. So that just makes this such a great value proposition to anyone out there looking for a fun and affordable and masculine three row SUV. Three row SUV. Um, mind you, this is actually my mother's car, believe it or not. And she really prefers the look of this over um, something like a Highlander or a Pilot or something like that, even a Explorer or Aviator. So again, we're taking a look at the exterior, some of the stuff I touched on before. You have six pots up front, four pots in the rear. Uh, of course, Brembo brakes, they are vented or they are slotted. Um, these are dinner plates here. So you're going to get that, I think it's 15.6 inch brake up front. The stopping power of this truck is huge. I mean, it's insane. This is a huge truck. Like this, it's huge. It's just, just everybody's seen a Durango on the road. We know how much these things weigh. They're like 55, 56, 5,700 pounds. So pairing it with the Brembo's on all four corners, the 295, 45R20 tires, and uh, all the other SRT performance goodies here. You have yourself paired up with an awesome uh, straight line corner carving, huge SUV. So jumping into the interior here, what you're gonna notice first, the interior is really dirty. But once we get past that, this was optioned with the demonic red uh, leather seating and leather inserts or faux leather inserts uh, along the vehicle here. So you're gonna get that awesome demonic red interior. I love the name uh, with some black accenting leather here uh, on the sides. I think personally in a Durango, especially with the red brakes, this is paired perfect with that demonic red interior. You're gonna see you have some accent lighting here. Dodge does a great job at accent lighting in their vehicles to lighten it up for you in order for you to see at night, but not be overly uh, bright. You can also see you get the 19 piece Harman Kardon sound system, which in this version is one of the better sounding sound systems that I have experienced in my Ram truck. It is not. So this is actually a great sounding sound system. Um, as we hop into the vehicle here, into the driver's seat, some have complained that these seats aren't as comfortable. They're not as wide as what would be expected here. Um, although I find these very comfortable. If you're a larger person, you may not find these as comfortable. You may have to jump up to the SRT to get some wider bolstering on the seats, uh, lower and upper. But for a smaller person like myself or most people driving this truck, you're gonna have no problem with it. Um, when you're behind the wheel of the Durango, you feel like you are in a banked vault. And that is something Dodge is really good at doing. In my 300, in my Challenger, even in my truck, you feel like you're in a bank vault, which is sweet. It makes you feel safe on the road. And that is one thing I do have to say about this Durango, the driving dynamics of it. Uh, you always feel like you are you know, safe, you're connected to the road. It gives you a really good driving experience, especially in this Durango. So you can see moving towards the steering wheel here, you've got an awesome SRT design steering wheel, big bolsters at the at the uh, 10 and two position, a flat bottom, which is really thick, really beefy. I like that. This is also equipped with the optional adaptive cruise control. As you can see here, we've got a big infotainment screen up front. A lot of Chrysler products feature that. Really, really nice updated Uconnect uh, 5 interface here, touchscreen system. You get, I mean, it's crazy how much controls, settings, performance, media comfort. It's crazy how you can go through this and how fast this all is here. And uh, it, it's really a step up from the old Uconnect system. But, uh, that is very nice. I'm not going to go into that right now. This Uconnect system takes this vehicle above and beyond any other uh, navigation or head unit that is in vehicles today. If you put this into a Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Honda, Toyota, Lexus, this will automatically 
make those cars jump up into the next level for how nice and how responsive and how fast this is. So enough about that here. This also does come with the carbon fiber package. So you get some carbon fiber inlays. They're just plastic, but you get some carbon fiber inlays there. The nice shifter, which I really like. It's nice and bulky. Optional uh, phone charging here, wireless phone charging, a nice little storage area right there. Some more connectivity there. Uh, USB, USB-C, of course your track, sport, tow, snow mode, eco off, parking sensors off. Uh, this also does come with the lane departure system and blind spot warning system as well. So tons of tech in here that can hold up to basically any other vehicle on the road. Uh, of course with the sunroof as well, ventilated and cooled seats and heated steering wheel. One thing I do have to say here is that I really like how Chrysler went back to touch buttons here instead of their old unit being all 8.4 inch Uconnect where you had to touch the touch screen all the time. Now you actually have analog buttons in order to uh, control your your interface and i should note this interface is pointing at you this is a really nice design here this is softer than in previous years it still has that typical chrysler rhino-ish material but it is softer as well area for your sunglasses which looks like there's a bunch of junk in there some really nice led lights a nice headliner that's the only option this truck is missing is the alcantara headliner on it and now as we get out we can jump to the rear seats. Yeah, we've got some stuff back here again. So as you can see, this is used for storage because uh, she is an older lady, doesn't need to haul around any kids anymore. But look at how much storage there is. Heated rear seats, USB connectivity right there. Of course, you've got your foot heat, your face heat, you're in the middle, um, tons of, you know, air blowing on you back here. Of course, your manual controls up there. And the third row, I don't even have to show the third row, but the third row gives you actually more than enough room. As somebody who's five foot eight, I could fit comfortably in the third row, and that still leaves you a good amount of, of, of storage in the back, essentially which is pretty sweet, but you can definitely fit six people in here very comfortably. And that third row is actually a pretty, pretty, pretty dang nice place to spend some time. So here again, I'm getting into the second row. We've got Tylenol extra strength back here for whenever you have one of those tough nights out. And there we go more than enough room this is pretty this is pretty sweet tons of storage in here more connectivity right there tons of room here and then to get in the back is pretty easy there's a there's a fold button on the back here which allows you to flip this up and then you can kind of squeeze through or there's of course handles on the seats as well but uh if you don't need it, you don't need it. Otherwise, you have a ton of storage back here. I mean, this is this is borderline Tahoe uh, storage back here with these with these third row seats down. So spending time in the Durango in the second row with these heated seats, no problem whatsoever. More than enough room. You could be six foot five in here and have a ton of room. So now we'll hop out. All right, so final thoughts. What makes you buy this? First, first and foremost, you're probably a Chrysler man. You're probably a Mopar man. If you're coming from a different brand, what makes you buy this? Is it the looks? Is it the available Hemi V8 power? Is it the driving performance? Is it the fact that this car here basically compromises in no ways? You know, you could do everything with it. You can tow 8,700 pounds. You can have fun on the weekends with it, do some spirited driving. You can haul your family in it. You can have that V8 power. This compromises to nobody. This compromises to nothing. 
This is an unapologetic Hemi V8 powered Durango RT tow and go. And that is what it is here for. This is a badass truck. This is why you buy it.